Welcome to Club Academia, where we dive deep into the wonders of knowledge and exploration. Today, we're embarking on a journey into the mysterious depths of time. What is time? How did it begin? And where is it going? Let's break it down from first principles. To understand time, we need to start at the very basics. Time is a measure of the progression of events. In the simplest terms, it's a way to quantify change and motion. Imagine a movie reel, each frame represents a moment in time. The sequence of these frames allows us to perceive movement and events. Also, since schools and colleges aren't exactly teaching us how to build wealth, we have an announcement that Club Academia is teaming up with Wealth Talk to bring you the knowledge you need to succeed. Get ready for a financial education like never before. Learn about stocks, investing, money management, and so much more. Our goal is to empower you to take control of your financial future. Subscribe to the channel, Wealth Talk, for expert advice, tips, and strategies. Your journey to wealth starts now, and financial literacy is just as important if not even more important than academic literacy which is why we want to give you the tools to start thinking about this as early as possible. To understand how time started, we need to consider the very beginning of the universe. The Big Bang Theory, according to modern cosmology, the universe began with the Big Bang approximately 13.8 billion years ago. This event was not just an explosion, but the rapid expansion of space and time itself. Before the Big Bang, the traditional concept of time did not exist. Time as we understand it began with the expansion of the universe. Space and time are linked. In the Big Bang model, time and space are intertwined. As the universe expanded, so did time. You can think of time as a dimension, similar to the dimensions of space. As the universe expanded, time started to flow along with space. So, time began as an integral part of the universe's expansion. Imagine space-time as a fabric. Massive objects like stars and planets warp this fabric. Near these massive objects, time slows down. This is why astronauts on the International Space Station age slightly slower than those on Earth. Let's explore how time functions as a dimension. Just as we have three dimensions of space, length, width, and height, time is considered the fourth dimension. In physics, we describe events not just in terms of spatial coordinates, but also in terms of when they occur. For example, if an event happens at a certain place, it also happens at a specific time. Isaac Newton's Absolute Time In the 17th century, Sir Isaac Newton proposed the idea of absolute time. Time that flows uniformly and independently of events. He envisioned it as a constant backdrop against which events occur. In this view, time is like a straight, unchanging line that continues regardless of the universe's happenings. The early 20th century brought a revolutionary shift with Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. Special relativity, Einstein's special relativity introduced the concept that time is relative, depending on the observer's motion. For example, if you're traveling close to the speed of light, time would slow down for you relative to someone who is stationary. This phenomenon is known as time dilation. General relativity, general relativity extended this idea by incorporating gravity into the equation. Einstein proposed that massive objects, like planets and stars, warp the fabric of space-time. This warping affects the flow of time. Quantum mechanics and the arrow of time, quantum mechanics, the physics of the very small, also challenges our understanding of time. At the quantum level, time seems to flow in a direction, from past to future. This is known as the arrow of time. However, the underlying laws of quantum mechanics are time-symmetric, meaning they should work equally well in both directions. Finally, Let's touch on the philosophical dimensions of time. Time is a construct. Some philosophers argue that time might be a human construct, an abstract framework we use to understand our experiences. They debate whether time exists independently of our perception or is merely a way to organize events. Perception of time, our perception of time can also vary based on psychological and cultural factors. For instance, Time may feel like it moves faster or slower depending on our activities and experiences. In summary, time is a complex and multi-dimensional concept that we use to measure and understand change and events. It is strange but true that time can slow down or speed up. 
If you were near a massive object like a black hole, time would pass more slowly for you compared to someone far from the black hole. This is because the strong gravitational field near the black hole warps space-time, slowing down the flow of time. Thank you for tuning into this video. Take a moment to subscribe to Club Academia, as well as our financial literacy education partner Wealth Talk, which shares the tools and tips for smart financial planning.